continuing from the last video, uh, let us differentiate this function, which is a quite easy function, y is equal to phi cot 2x. So I copied and pasted the formula sheet. So cot x differentiates to minus cos 6 squared x. Okay. So differentiating using the chain rule, I can say dy by dx. So differentiate the inside first. So that is phi times 2 times minus cos 6 squared 2x. Just like that. So let us simplify a little. So dy by dx is minus 10 cos 6 squared 2x. Okay, and that's your answer. Okay, let us move on to the next question. Uh, this is sine x divided by x plus 3. Here you have to use the quotient rule. Okay, now what's the quotient rule? Uh, so let me write the quotient rule. If you want to find f by g prime, okay, so first you differentiate the, so you can say this is first differentiating, so you can say f dash times g minus f times g dash over g squared. That's the formula. Okay, so let me let's write the bracket properly so this is the whole bracket okay so first i'll different so this is your f and this is your g so you can say dy by dx i'll differentiate sine x uh, sine differentiates to cos so i'll write uh, cos x times the denominator function which is x plus 3 as it is minus the top function which is f which is sine x times the derivative of this that is nothing but 1 over x plus 3 squared just like that this is your answer okay the next question y is equal to sine x plus 1 to the power of 4 so first you differentiate the inside so dy by dx differentiation of sine is differentiation of sine is cos so first I'll differentiate that to cos x times the whole function which is 4 times sine x plus 1 to the power 3 and that's your answer if you want to write this a bit tidier since dy by dx is 4 cos x times sine x plus 1 the whole to the power okay now the next week eh, this is I think the last so this is again differentiating the inside so dy by dx is equal to this is differentiates to 8x then differentiation of natural log of is 1 over x times 1 over 4x squared plus 3 so in the last video, in the last example, I'll show you how to check this. So this is 8x over 4x squared plus 3. So the function is defined at 0. Okay, so let me find the derivative at 0. So dy by dx at x is equal to 0 uh, would be uh, would be undefined okay would be because this will become 0 over 3 which is 0 so the gradient at 0 is 0 so let us check this on a calculator so menu run option calculus so the function was uh, natural log of uh, bracket uh, 4x squared plus 3. Close the bracket and at 0. At 0, the gradient has to be 0. Yep, that's right. So your answer is right. Okay, so you can give yourself 5 ticks. See you in the next.